it's fun when we just come back from a holiday because first of all, it's like we have to get ourselves back into it. I don't know if anybody took a couple of days off. I hope you did. I know it's hard with Black Friday, but one of the things that I've really enjoyed is being able to have new conversations with people because of the glow. It's something different. It's something that we don't usually talk about. So I hope you guys are having fun with that. And I don't know if you heard us talking about how to get the free shipping and the cyber 10 to work at the same time, Tina the miracle worker. She says, if you add less than $175 worth of product, it will automatically let you put in that cyber 10 code, then go and put in more items so that you hit that 175 PB point or 175 amount. And then it will give you the free shipping as well. And I'm pretty sure if you add a reset, it would also knock that $20 off. So work in the system. Um, We're going to get started today with my very special friend, Diamond Deborah McCutcheon. She's one of my oldest friends in Plexus, actually. So you're going to love hearing from her. She's going to give us a little bit of tasks, but I want you guys just to kind of hear one of the things that I would say she's known for is high belief. And so that's always encouraging. I don't know if that is for you guys, but it is for me. I like to be reminded why we do what we do and why it is so special and so important. So Deborah, I'm going to mute myself and let you go for it. Hey, y'all. All All right. Thank you. And thanks for that tip, too, because I'm going to be ordering as soon as we get off of here. I want to make sure that we get the best of the best because I don't know about y'all, but like I'm El Chifo. I want to I want to lean into everything that Plexus is going to offer and really show just how easy it is to do this. Um, So, again, I'm Deborah McCutcheon, guys, been with Plexus since June of 2011. Okay, Hallelujah. I mean, it has been 11 and a half, 11 and a half years of doing Plexus. When I started Plexus, <laughs> there were no videos, there were no um, brochures. In fact, um, one of the gals that I'd met that you know it helped me in, in getting signed up, her daughter was like a graphic designer. She took the front and the back of the slim bag and she made a little card, a little rack card from it. <laughs> That's all it was. Guys, back then, I just think about all the resources we have today. And I think about back then we were like, we were on that, yeah, you know, y'all are on the smooth interstate. Y'all are smooth and rock and rolling. And we were on that little bumpy side road, you know, (laughs) chugging along, chugging along. But what we had was a belief, like she said, in the product, it worked. We had meetings, little opportunity meetings where Charles would travel and come and, you know, I'm near New Orleans. He, people, that or Baton Rouge is actually close to where I am. And we had people that would stand up in the audience and tell their stories. And you would just about pass out because they were getting the results. They were getting the results from these products and they were standing right there in front of you. They were real people with real stories. And that's really where my belief started is that I know these products work. I knew they do. Nobody can tell me, oh, you got in at the right time or, oh, you you know, the products don't work. They're new. I wish I had the old formula. You know what? Sheila Medina is my diamond upline. And she told me this one time, and I will never forget this. I want y'all to remember this, is that when you've got somebody standing there in front of you that is like, no, it's a fad. It's not going to work. It's whatever they're saying. Okay. I don't like the taste or just whatever. I want you to visualize this. I want you to look over their shoulder, just kind of mentally visualize, and you say the word next, next, because that person may not be the person for you, but there's 50 people behind them that need what we have, and guys, that still gives me shivers. I don't know about y'all, but that gives me the shivers because I believe that there are people out there that we haven't even talked to yet, that we haven't even reached yet that still need what we have. All right. And let me do this. We're going to start off with this. And I want to just tell you this encouragement because we've got some Monday motivation going on here. All right. I get to do plexus. I don't have to do plexus. I get to do plexus. So hallelujah. Can we just give like a hallelujah that first of all, we have this freedom to sit right here, right now, all together and sing and sing and sing about plexus. Let me tell you, that is the part that I love and that I I get to enrich other people's lives through products, through speaking, through sharing, through loving, through caring, through giving. I get to do that. And that is thanks to Plexus. Now, it wasn't always sunshine and rainbows, y'all. Let me just tell you this. I'm going to tell you this real quickly, and then we're going to get to work. But I have a lot of, um, I guess, emotion when, when when I really pursue strength through adversity. I want to be that no matter what girl. 
And there was a time when I had to. I joined in 2011, corporate America girl all the way, y'all. I started to get my tush off the couch. I needed energy. I'm Italian. I'm from the South. I eat anything and everything. If you fried it up and dipped it in ranch, I'm going to eat it. It don't matter what it is. That's, that's what we do. Okay? We talk with our hands too. And I needed something because I knew that I was on a, on a plane of, you know, it wasn't going to keep, I, I couldn't keep doing this. So I wanted to get my tush off the couch, worked, you know, worked 10 hour day, drove 45 minutes each way. Hallelujah. Can you relate? I mean, can you relate to that? You know, I've got my big old fat diet Coke on the way, you know, the big gulp size, you know, the biggest, remember when they had a big, big size and then they went extra in the drive through like it was even bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I had that every day on the way to work. And then it was crazy. And then, you know, I, I never had time to eat and, and, and sat behind that desk. And then I had to drive all the way home. It was well, no wonder that I had no energy and didn't want to get off the couch. In came Plexus, okay? I said yes, very skeptically, by the way. I said yes. Uh, my best friend's coworker was, was using it and was sharing with it. And my best friend told me about it. And when I started, I had no clue. I was just like, okay, let's do it. <laughs> and I immediately started to feel better. And let me tell you this as part of my story. Here's kind of the cycle of way it, the way it worked. The more I took it, the better I felt. The better I felt, the more I moved. And the more I moved, the better results I got. Okay? No magic pill, guys. I just felt like doing something. And it had been a really long time before that. Fast forward a few years. We're rocking and rolling. We're sharing plexus in Walmart parking lots. We're in little baggies. And we got normal seven-day supplies. There's no Ziploc, y'all. Okay, it was pretty, it was pretty fun back in the day. But we had what people wanted and needed and, and we were just rocking and rolling. Okay. I thought, okay, I'm growing a team. They deserve more of me. I'm gonna leave this job because obviously my income had grown more than even the job. So I'm like, I don't I want to work from home. Yeah. I okay, I was it was in I was in my 40s. I had never once in my life ever since 18 years old didn't wake up, get dressed, drop the kid off and go somewhere and sit at a desk, like never in my life ever. Okay. Left that job of 14 years. And I, you know, I liked it. I mean, I didn't, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I just thought, well, this is what people do, right? This is what we do. So the thought of working from home and doing this scared the bejesus out of me and excited me all at the same time. And I left that job. And let me tell you about the strength of adversity. God's timing is there y'all. Six months after I left that job, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And that rocked my world because first of all, I, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that I needed this job more than ever. I needed it. And the team that I had built up, of course, you know, again, strong Italian, I was doing all of the calls, doing all of the graphics, doing all of the things, doing the team page, doing all of that. You know what this experience taught me? A, a lot of things. But one of the things it taught me is to let go is to let your people shine, all right? Think right now of a person on your team that has really got the, the oomph or got the, the talent to do graphics or can lead calls, let them do it. Encourage them, invite them to do that. And you know, that thing right there really helped me to just really let go, take care of myself and still build and encourage a team. And that's the part that I, I tell you that you can't, the products didn't stop working for me. The products didn't stop. The business didn't work for me. I just had a whole new why, okay? I had a whole new reason for needing these products and this business. I worked when I wanted to and I rested when I needed to. A whole year of chemo, a whole year of all that. And hallelujah, we're seven years, we're seven years cancer free. And I'm gonna sing the praises of Plexus because you know what? I firmly believe that Plexus came into my life to get me the strongest I needed to be to fight this battle. I firmly believe that. You can't take that from me. Nobody can. And I told somebody just, just the other day, I said, Plexus is like my brown eyes. You know, I mean, I like my brown eyes all the time. And maybe I wish I had blue eyes or maybe I want to put makeup on and all that. But they're still a part of you. It's never occurred to me for it not to. All right. So that's the belief I want to share with you is you make Plexus a part of you, no matter how that may be. Okay. Now, enough about me. Let's do some work because I get to sit here and I get to sit here and do this work with y'all and share with you just some of the things that I do and some of the things I use. Um, I, for one, am even just like all of you, I don't like scripty scripts, but I use them as a diving board. I use them as a way to stand there, take the script, 
maybe tweak, tweak this, change this, do this. It's a way to, to start with something and end with everything. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Hallelujah. Put in the chat if you are excited about Cyber Monday and all of the specials and all of the things that Plexus is doing because we're going to lean into them. We're going to utilize them to help our people be the best they can be through the holidays. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll jump into the chat and check on if any questions, Jen, if you help me with that as well. So we're going to spend the first 10 minutes showing some gratitude. Okay. Showing some gratitude. Sometimes it's not about Plexus show. Sometimes it's about just telling someone how much they mean to you. Maybe a Plexus person may not, but if you start your day with 10 minutes of gratitude to anybody, yo, I texted my husband. I said, thank you so much for taking the trash out this morning. Cause it was about four o'clock in the morning this morning. And I thought, oh my God, I didn't take the trash out. I just sent him a note and said, thank you. Okay. How did you feel if you get a note that said, thank you for do blank, fill in the blank. I'll, I'll tell you a very quick story. This past weekend, I saw uh, my friend's mama in the grocery store, spaghetti aisle, okay? And I talked to her. And I was like, you know, kind of feeling like, okay, I got this reset. I got, you know, I was kind of in a space. And she made me feel so just warm and just, I, I was home and I was just, it just a great feeling, okay? And I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text my friend. I hadn't spoken to her in a while, I'm gonna text my friend. And then I thought, you know, that little, that's weird, Deborah, don't do that. That's weird. Mm -mm. I did it. I texted her and I said, girl, I just want to tell you how special your mama made me feel just standing in the spaghetti aisle, how special she is. You were so blessed. I'm so happy about that. And just send it. Okay. Can you imagine how you'd feel if you got a message like that about your mama? First of all, you're blessed to have your mom in your life. Second of all, look what she's doing for not only you, but for people around her. People she, she probably not even remembered who I was. Maybe. So I want you to spend these first 10 minutes showing gratitude. And I'm going to put some information in the chat to encourage you on how you can do that. So um, do you want me to set that timer? Are you going to set that timer? I can set the timer for that. And we'll do 10 minutes of this right here on my phone. And I want to hear what you're doing. Jump into the chat and tell me what you're doing. Tell me what you're thinking about what I've said to you so far and how you feel about doing that. So get a mute and then it starts now.
All right, guys, we're just wrapping up that 10 minutes. And I want to ask you this. So how does it feel to send these kind of messages? What did you say? Who did you think of first to send this kind of a message? You know, I was writing in there about sending to my parents who kind of turned that corner in aging and where, you know, that's the difference. It's a big thing. And we're an hour away. So I was so grateful for my loud Italian family screaming at each other. Just it, it was just so exciting. I was exhausted after it was over. But I start to think, you know what, we're not going to have a lot of those moments left. You know? So I'm so happy. All right, let me turn that off. Happy that y'all were able to do that. And what I'm going to do is we're going to talk a little bit now about some work. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to get some work done. But the first thing I want to do is share two things with you, because I feel like knowledge is power. Knowledge helps us be more comfortable with what we're talking about. And we need to know all of the things that Plexus is doing. There are two websites that, I, that are like my Bible. They're saved in my computer as a bookmark uh, because I look at them all the time. The Plexus Help Center and the Plexus Incentives page. And I'll share those links in there in just a second. But basically, that's where you're going to get your knowledge because I did notice this, which is very interesting why I'm sharing both of them, is the incentive page doesn't have the dollar enrollment on it. I don't know why, uh, but it's not on there. So I'm going over to the Help Center and I typed in November incentives and it had everything that was in there and the information. Did you know a dollar incentives from Friday, November 25th through Wednesday, November 30th? Okay, I didn't see anything on that. So you see how easy it is that you can miss something. What about that person? I mean, let's, let's think about this for a minute. A dollar is at least, that's off the 9.95. So another 10% off, right? That's another thing that you can give because it's automatic when they get a welcome pack. So make sure that you're following that. But if you're not sure about all the things that are going on, number one, I'm sure your team page has got everything in it. I'm sure all of the information that you need, but if you need to save those posts or save a graphic or save the details so that you can be knowledgeable whenever someone maybe asks you a question, this is also going to help you identify who you're going to send your messages to. Now, one of the things I believe in, and I'll tell you from personal experience, is if you're not working your personal business and you're in manager mode, it's going to hit you quick. Why do I say that? Because that's what happened to me. Of course, I was the manager for everybody. I was going to do everything for everyone. I was going to help you, help you, help you. But then my business started to suffer. I didn't get my personal sponsors. I didn't reach out to my level ones because I was so busy helping someone else. So I really split my work into two things, my personal business and my team. So let's talk about your personal business first. We're going to be sending out to our potentials, following up with them. How was their, how was their holiday? And just trying to build some relationships with them and keep in touch. I call them touches. You're going to be wanting to touch them very often so that whenever they are ready, if they're not quite ready yet, get it. Hey, remember that? Next, okay? There's other people that need it. Maybe they're not ready. They're not a no, but they're just not, they're not yet. Then keep them on your list. Hopefully you've got your hot list of all of your people and make sure that you are keeping in contact with them. But we wanna hit a whole new brand of people, all right? You wanna make sure you are continuing to fill that funnel. All right. And that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to be posting a couple of things um, that I use for new potentials on just connecting with them. Maybe they've asked, maybe they'd like to post, um, maybe they have commented. And that's when I start to reach out to them. We're going to spend the next 10 minutes doing that. Think of the people that you haven't spoken to in a couple of weeks, maybe, or even a week or so before the holiday and let them know about specials. And again, I'll be putting some scripts in there. Let's start, start that timer again.
guys, as, as I share some of these texts, why is my video off? As I share some of these texts, I just want you all to remember, this is not a one size fits all. I don't want to be spammy. I don't want to show sure, my video keeps going off. Um, I don't want to be spammy. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I am really seeing the gift of what I have and knowing and believing that I have something that could help them. So I want you to think of perhaps you know something that they're suffering with, or you know some issues that they have with a family member or with a friend. And I want you to make sure that you are really reaching deep and not having the salesy spammy things. The, again, these are just a diving board for you to kind of start with, to give you some ideas. I know that's what's really the most helpful to me. For the love of Pete, or for, what was it then? The love of uh, <laughs> the, uh, Chris, I don't remember his name, the movie star, a sexy movie star. For the love of that, don't copy and paste, okay? Let's make this a really enriched way of helping others. And you're gonna feel good about it, they're gonna feel good about it. So the let, uh, Chris Hemsworth, there it is. He is, yeah, he's the one. <laughs> I saw that in thought, okay, that's it. So no copy and pasting guys, but if you have some ideas too that you are sharing, thank you, Sarah, thank you, thank you. Um, and I appreciate that because I think everybody's perspective of this can really hone in and give us something that resonates with us. So we've got about another five minutes. We'll continue to message.
All right, guys, we've got about another minute left, but I just wanted to um, talk a little bit more about what we're doing, why we're doing this, um, what we're saying. So make sure you drop in the chat. Who are you messaging? What are you sharing about? And have you gotten any even any responses yet? I definitely want throughout this call for you to put in that chat. Hey, let us know about um, successes you're having today, you know, or something really good that has happened to you with your business. Um, you know, I lead back into the, we get to do this, right? Right. I'd love it if any, any, everybody in the chat would say, what is the best thing that you like about doing this business? What is the thing that you enjoy? You know, that's the thing I like to see. Um, I personally, I think there's a lot of things I enjoy about this business. Um, I think the number one thing in my life right now is I have grandbabies. I'm a Mimi and I get to bring them to school. I get to pick them up. I get to spend time with them. Guys, remember corporate America? I had to drive, like, an, I had to take like an afternoon off just to bring my daughter to a doctor's appointment or just to be able to go and see a play. Or in her senior year, she was cheerleading and stuff. I missed all that. So I get to have time with my grandkids, something I never ever thought was imaginable. So for that, I'm grateful. And that's really, you know, I want you to share in there too some of the things that you have um, that you enjoy. Um, but we are going to finish up with the next few minutes. Remember, I talked about the difference between working your personal business and working your team. We want to try to have that balance. Sometimes your, your personal business needs more. Sometimes your team needs more. But as long as you're contributing to both and really leaning into your team, it helps support you. You know, maybe you can, again, I, I was suggesting, maybe you can designate a few people um, that can do some of the things that are really good at it and it will get, help them have the, the confidence to be able to shine on their own as well. So we're going to talk about working with your team, okay? And rewarding feeling of helping others. Liz, I love that. I love that. Um, someone requested in a message to me to talk a little bit about um, the strength of adversity and the things that I did while I was working my business. Um, and I'm going to just spend just a few minutes on that to, to make sure. And if they have any questions, we can maybe talk um, off through messaging or whatever. Um, yes, I went through a whole year of chemo. Yes, I didn't have a lick of hair on my head. And yes, I did not want anyone to see me as sick. Um, I wanted to let everybody know that, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to fight through this. And, you know, and it was tough. And there were moments that I didn't want anyone around me and not less sharing about health and wellness supplements, right? Here's where this came in and brought me a whole new focus on what I was doing. I started plexus to get my tush off the couch and to lose weight. As those years went by and this happened, I had a whole new why for taking the products. I needed the gut health 150,000% because of all the chemicals and the steroids and all the craziness that I had to go through with radiation, surgery, lab ports, all that kind of stuff. So I focused on me feeling better throughout the process. My doctors were on board. Everything was great. So, And then I started to share that with people because Maybe there were some other people out there, just like this person that messaged me, that have been going through that and are not quite sure how to share, is you do the level of comfort that you feel and talk about it. Talk about how you're feeling and talk about what these, what these supplements have done for you. It may not be, be about sharing with other people and trying to, to work and send messages, but it also might be about sharing your true self, which can give you some peace and comfort. So I hope that that helped. Um, all right, and let's talk back about working with your team, okay? One of the times when I was sick and going through all of this and I really felt maybe at my lowest and thought, okay, I can't do this business or I can't, you know, one of the things I felt just hold up <clears throat> and I didn't want to put myself out there. My remedy, reach out to your team. Reach out to someone who just joined. Reach out to someone who has been doing it for a while and maybe they're struggling. Reach out to someone who maybe is the most quietest on your team. Reach out to somebody who is the loudest, <laughs> the one who's always speaking, and just say, hey, I see you, and I love what you're doing with your business. Or, hey, I haven't heard from you. How are you doing with your products? How are you doing with your business? What are you enjoying the most about Plexus lately? So that's the part that made me feel better, is showing gratitude and reaching out. And I tell my team that if you hear me singing the loudest, sometimes that's when I'm feeling the lowest, because that's where I want them to see that it's okay to have the ups, it's okay to have the downs. You have blessings, you have struggles, but you're still here. You're the no matter what person, right? So I, what I want you to do is I want you to reach into your team and think of someone, because as I was talking, I bet someone popped in your head, right? Did somebody pop in your head like, gosh, 
I haven't seen that person. Maybe you need to scroll through. Maybe you've got just a few people on your team. Maybe you've got thousands, doesn't matter. I had reached out to someone that I kind of thought that particular team was off limits. You know, they got their own leader, they're good. But I reached out and sent her a message and come to find out, you know, this was someone on my, outside of my jewels and stuff that said, you know what, this is the first time someone's ever reached out. My bad on that one, y'all. And all it was was a message is, hey, how you doing? Just want you to know, I think that I'm thinking about you and I cherish you as a part of my Plexus team. So think about that and think about a message. We'll send, spend just the next uh, 10 minutes or so doing that. Jump into the chat if you have any questions or if you want any other information.
Okay, I think I figured something out. And this, it's okay because the reset, you know, when you add it, you get the $20 off and that's way more than what 10% would be. You can't stack the cyber 10 and the reset. So it's going to automatically take the $20 off if you put a reset in there. And that's all you'll get. You won't get 10% off of anything else. So I feel like it's site-wide except for the reset. I was getting so excited because I thought I was going to stack all of it. Um, and then just a couple more things to tell you guys. Tonight, we have a leadership training. I have been looking forward to this the entire month because Caitlin Merlino is a girl that went emerald during the pandemic and she's never lost rank. She continues to grow. And yet she has told herself over and over and over again, I am just a COVID jewel. And I think that that mindset has been really hard for her. And now she's mastered that. And she's going to share with us that story. And then my friend, Adrian, another diamond, she's going to share about how you lead through hard times. And that's a really good leadership lesson. So don't miss that tonight at 730. And it feels like there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, next week, we'll have our Welcome to Plexus event on Monday. That same time, remember, we're doing this whole 90 day push with the same events Monday nights at 730. And then finally, we start our ambassador reset group December 5th through the 7th. So make sure you've ordered your reset. You've got it ready to go. And then I'm sure we have. Do you have another task, Deborah, by the way? You've done amazing. Seriously. <laughs> I've enjoyed every second of it. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, no, I think I wanted to wrap it up just to give us some time to breathe and to see if we had any questions or any announcements. Um, I know that Sarah Marvel too has some really great information yeah. if she wanted to share as well. I'm trying to find her on the screen. Um, but yes, y'all, I have enjoyed this. I am honored to be asked and would love to do it again because I enjoy these. These help Mama Deborah land and not hoover over everything. I can I focus it. and get things done. So thank you. Um, I loved having you. It was awesome. Um, Sarah, if you want to unmute and share what you were going to share, I know you put some of the scripts in the chat, but anything you got to add to it, this is your moment. <laughs> I've missed everyone. Deborah, that was so good. And what's crazy is I jotted down some things that I was working on last night, just kind of reflecting. Um, and it is great that we can take a few days off for Thanksgiving if we want to. Um, or also, Deborah, I loved what you shared about just being authentic and walking through your journey and your highs and lows. And I've really, really wanted um, that to be part of my story and that I'm not just showing up in the good when I've lost 30 pounds and feel amazing, but also when I use food as a drug and emotionally eat when hard things happen in life and all of the things. So um, just hearing you talk about transparency in your journey is so helpful. And I think a great reminder for each and every one of us, but tagging onto the belief piece, I keep thinking about the fact that we're the original gut health company, you guys. Um, it's just one of those things where don't forget where we started and what got us where we are and that everybody on this planet needs triplex. So there's other companies now that are jumping on with this whole new gut health glam. And I'm like, hello, we kind of been talking about that for the last 12 years, if anybody hasn't noticed. So y'all don't forget that. But in thinking about one, all of the messaging and the gratitude and the relationships, I'm jumping back to, if you guys didn't order this, please, please, please go order it. And then go to the ambassador community page and go listen to his Saturday book club. It's one of the, he's one of the best speakers I've ever heard. But I went back to that recording um, because We tend to jump to the opportunity and the sales, right? And we're thinking, okay, we're just going to put this sale up here and we just hope that we get 10 new VIPs today and everything is wonderful for our benefit. But when Phil talks about it and exactly what to say, he says, we can't just jump straight to the sale or expect to have a sale come if there weren't first good questions that started really good conversations that led to developing and improving relationships that then went into, hey, this may or may not be for you, but can I share this? Hey, you know, all of his magic words, none of them will work if you don't have questions with conversations with relationships. Then you have the opportunity to speak up and ask them how this could fit. And then the sales will come. So imagine being able to message somebody after having a conversation six months ago saying, hey, I remember that you mentioned you struggled with X, Y, Z. I just want to check in and see, have you found a solution for that? If not, I'd love to chat about you. You know, may or may not be for you, but 
we've got some sales on our triplex or whatever the case might be. Can you imagine that person would probably feel so seen and so heard that you remembered that they had a pain point in their life that you were able to address. So that was the, the first thing. And then I've been talking through um, with someone else. This book has come up twice. I haven't read it yet, but just some of the nuggets that I'm taking from people who have read it. I needed this. And I want you guys to hear as we're closing the month of November, as we're getting ready to close the year, you might feel like it's weird. You might feel like your points aren't what you hoped or thought. You might just be feeling all of these things. And I want you to think about the gap versus the game. Um, Shannon Hoskinson told me about this, but it's also come up on Instagram a few times. But I want you to know that one, for the 75 people who showed up on here, you guys are like the top 2%, right? You're the, the movers and the shakers who are going to show up and get things done without somebody asking you or telling you, right? Which means you are a high achiever. So most people, especially ambitious people, tend to be unhappy because of how you measure your progress. We all have an ideal and a moving target. For us high achievers, are we always not setting the next goal? Are we always not looking ahead to the next thing? Are we always not saying, what are my points needing to be? When we measure ourselves against that ideal, that goal and that bar and that standard that keeps moving, we find ourselves in the gap. However, when we measure ourselves against, listen, our previous selves, where we started, where we've come from, it is then that we can see ourselves in the game. When I read that quote, <clears throat> it literally hit me in between the eyes. It hit me so hard that it was just this perspective of me feeling, you know, anxious or overwhelmed or unsure or whatever, all of those things with what I have and where I am right now. And then thinking to myself, oh my gosh, Sarah, just like Deborah said, you missed all the things because you couldn't get off work. Like I get to go be the pre basketball game meal mom who gets to show up at 2.30 because I make my own, even if I just focused on what this business has done for me as a mom and what I've been able to accomplish as a mom because of this business, I could be here for three hours telling you all of the things that I haven't missed out, on, all of the things that I've gained. But if I were to think about my finances, um, you know, the benefits of working from home and being my own boss, all of the things, am I picturing myself in that gap of where I want to be or where I should be or where I used to be or in the gain of the overall journey of the benefits that I'm reaping financially, all of the things, all of the things. So that to me has been so huge because I know that there's a lot of high achievers on here. We've got some threes, we've got some reds, I'm a, I'm a yellow too, but I still am a very driven, I'm, I'm, Plexus has pulled red out of me that I didn't know that I had. Um, so I want you to be thinking when you're messaging, are you messaging from a place of, I need, I'm orange, that's funny, it's true. Are you messaging from a place that you're jumping straight to the sale or are you able to look at yourself, you know what, I am not in a gap. I am in a gain based on where I was. And look at all these people I have to talk to. Look at all these people who need what I have. And am I asking questions? Am I getting in conversation? Am I investing in relationships? Because it's then that I can offer the opportunity of health, hope, and happiness through the holidays and moving forward to January. So I thought that seemed fitting, probably divine, that Deborah, you gave us all of that work in this literally is what I was like brain dumping last night. <laughs> and it just kind of seemed to all fit. So just wanted to add my two cents on that. Jennifer, you have anything else? No, I love that too. I think as we each go through each year of growing our businesses, it's like all of these lessons. Don't you like when people say, go back to the basics? Like they say that. And then part of your like, I don't want that. I want the next level. I'm ready for 2.0, but really 2.0 is just over and over again of refining that basic skill. So, and I actually love Deborah that you had to send messages because if you're not in that posture of gratitude, man, when things happen that are difficult, it's like, I can go straight to the gutter. Let me tell you, 
I'm just like, well, I'm mad and I'm furious, but if I can just go ahead and hold on to gratitude, it makes all the difference in the world. So make sure you guys have marked your calendar for tonight. Make sure you've marked your calendar for December 5th through 7th. And then if we really can figure out how to get this reset situation to work, then that might be a good time for us to get people ordering their reset for that New Year's challenge. It's a little hack. So if you can figure that out, that would be awesome. But make sure that you guys are tuned into all the things that I just mentioned. And then we will see each other again on Thursday. Thanks again, Deborah. Good to see you again, Sarah.